Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome. My name is Wasations, and you are about to be watching me. Hello there, and I just realized Rim Connect is still on after probably, well, it'll be long since last Wednesday. So, hello there. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling much better today. So this should be the full day. <clears throat> which should be good. Right, so there we go. Marvellous. And today, as we have been doing every Monday to Thursday, at this time, it is yet more Factorio. So, if it will display... Go! Why is it not displaying? There we go. Just a little delayed, so we're going to go ahead and get the multiplayer game going. There we go. Marvellous. <laughs> there we are. So, we are back on the Red Ring of Death. We're going to hydrate. I'm especially going to hydrate after that uh, nosebleed this morning. So if I seem a little groggy, that's that's why. <laughs> ah, and it's also very cold. Very, very cold. So what was I on with last time? Ah, yes, I remember. I was getting the blue... Well, I was starting to get the blue science underway. So where has that been taken? Because that has theoretically... Oh no, it hasn't. No. Now that has theoretically been used. Oh, it'll have been taken down here, won't it? Ugh, AGI. <laughs> right. Yeah, so we have got some of these chips. We need some of these, which is going to take... <clears throat> Some of those astrometric data. Sorry, multispectral astrometric data. Oh, no, no, no. The actual product is astrometric, astrometric data. And that is made in the other one of those yellow ones we've got. Yes. So I'm going to make that over here. Since we already have the majority of the stuff. Okay, apparently I can't do it that way. So, I do need another one of these, I believe. Which means we're going to need another 200 copper. And we're also going to need another one of these. No, which one did I just start building? Was it? I think it was that one. Then we're also going to need one of these, which is going to take 20 low density structures. 20. <clears throat> Along with. Ah, oh, we can make all of that. So one of those. Can we actually make the pipe? Yes, because we've got 41 already. 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 50, 55, 60. Right, that should be enough for both. 
Ah, no, we will need four more pumps, actually. So that can be reset. And we want to build one of those. Copper. Duh. Duh. And duh. We'll take back the other bits. We'll reset it and build a hypercooler thingy. Well, what's it? So one of them. Some of them. Gonna need more pipe. Then we're gonna need the newly crafted engines and the low density structures. Not quite there yet. Eight, nine. There we go. It's there somewhere. So that gives us the uh, cooler thingy required in order to make the last bit of the blue science. Uh, one of those will be the can't mix fluids. So it's the one that points up. Is it always the one that points up? No. If it's like that, it can work. So like that. We can do it. Ha, <laughs> no we can't. Because the in has to go at the bottom. No. Oh. That'd be fine. Hang on. Ah, we just build it down here. Yeah, if we just go... Actually, we could just go that way around. Oops. Put that. Well, that is annoying. <laughs> Let's try and get rid of this issue without having to replace that. So I will need space pipe. Please say we have some no Right. Let's get the plastic bars and the glass out. Please say we have some? Yes. And glass. Oh and I need to go to the Discord chat. Righty, righty, righty. Let's make some space pipe. Come on. No, did, did you 
you just steal my space pipe? Wait a second, these aren't even connected back out, are they? Which means they're gonna... Oh. They're never actually gonna empty, are they? That's probably why they're stopped. Aha, ooh. Can I, if I make a pump, can I force the fluid out? Well, I mean, that's one way of doing it. So much for trying to be uh, smart about it. Never mind. <laughs> Right, that needs to be that stuff. Would that work? Yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? We just need to hook this back in to the line, really. Should be good. Because these can't produce until they've got rid of the excess. means I'm going to need a lot of this space pipe. Because I need to replace that. In fact, what I can do then is just do that. Which means I can then put that back in. Uh, yeah. Ah, I think we're running out. Of, we've run out of copper now. So everything now is the last we have, for the time being. And why would you not put it the right way around the first time you're reporting? Well, thankfully you can spin it the other way by pressing shift. I didn't know that until just now, literally just now. will create astrometric data, which we'll then need to funnel this stuff back. Uh, let's use whatever that one's using, because I think that's the right one. Oh, 
400, that's got none. Good. That will eventually start. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we need request a chest with the materials required for that being selected. I'm not sure we really need 10, but I suppose it's not like a, a horrendous amount. Let's get those extra chests made. Apparently space pipe takes a very long time to make. But look, I've actually done something sciencey. I've set this up. <laughs> uh, we might as well go ahead and make a few of each of them. Right, let's go and make five of each. Four of those, I suppose, then. Oh wait, I'm having to make the circuits as well. Which is not a good way of doing this actually. Because copper is limited. Let's just crank that up to 5, crank that up to 15. Since we do have both red and green circuits available in the network already. That we can just have brought to us. Oh, which has already been done. So 5... Do we not have any more storage chests? No, we don't. Never mind. Oops, didn't actually need to set just one going. There we go. Right, they can start getting output. Which will then be able to be fed. into this, although I am tempted to move this lot back up to the to where the rest of the blue is. It seems a little bit weird having it out here. So we just stick it in here, in this gap, and it'll just fit nicely. don't have any blank data cards. Let's find out why, shall we? It'll be copper, won't it? Oh, no, it's that substrate stuff. Polished data substrate. There's none of that because there's none left. Hmm. Because never even thought to bring that stuff up. That's 525 in it. Holy moly. Let's cancel that. And let's cancel that. Although there might be an absolute boatload on its way. Oh, 
Let's change that one to be the rough data substrate so that we can get some. Let's see how much we can get in before before the uh, copper and iron have completely taken over. of that stuff we've got we've got 13k in storage okay i think we're all right for that oh wow no wonder it is literally just being packed up into boxes i don't know where that's coming from oh it's this thing isn't it yeah i remember yep that's fine I'm okay with this. <laughs> right, we've got 700 rough data substrate in there at the minute. There's not much copper left. Still, we've got, wow, we've got 22,000 copper. 23,000 copper. That rocket is officially full. That's going to keep us going for a while. Well, I've made a mistake. Let's take some iron out. Make room for a space capsule. There we go. Oh, those two are still turned on. Right, we need to make sure we actually have the right things turned on now. So we've got space capsule cargo rocket sections, which are just automated. Um, yeah, we probably want more rough data substrate, but is that at least, f oh, stop. Stop, 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 stop. I don't know, we'll put more copper in. Ah, stop. <laughs> right, that's just on. Let's fill this back up with copper. <laughs> Deliver 3K. Right, <laughs> that'll help fill it up. We'll also cram a bit more data substrate in there. You know, just whichever wins. It looks like it's going to be the rough data substrate. Right. That is officially full. So we'll turn everything off. We'll let these ones win first. I'm just going to launch that. So that has the space capsule ready to go already. It's 
liquid rocket fuel is filling up. And here is the output. Rather a lot of copper and iron. And actually quite a lot of rough dead to substrate as well. Working away. Ah, that is absolutely stuffed, isn't it? Hmm. Absolutely crammed full of goodies, that one. Don't know what we're going to do with the bio sludge. I don't know what the bio sludge is used for. Oh, we can turn it into crude oil. Into a thousand crude oil as well. Although we can't actually use the crude oil up here, can we? Which is part of a problem. Um, what can we? Is there a space version? I think someone said there was a space version, didn't they? Is it that? No. Sure, someone said there was a space version. Can also perform more basic chemical and oil processing. Ah! So we just need biochemical laboratories. Yeah, I think that's what we need. And that one can be used for uranium. Interesting. So it looks like we can do the basic oil processing up here. We just need some biochemical laboratories. Which I don't know if we've got any spare. I'm inclined to say not. Why is that stopped? When it has blank data cards. Ah, because there's 50 visible observation frames. Enabled when UV observation data. Less than 50. Just to stop it going a little bit overboard. These don't have a limit, do they? So that I'm going to stop when green has less than well, over a hundred. That when yellow 
has less than 100. And then that when blue. This is UV, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is going to be the slow one out of the three. Less than one. One. Come on. One hundred. Cool. At least we don't have an excess of that stopping everything. We are missing the visible observation data. As per usual. Uh, blue, blue, blue. You are after astrometric insight. But you're not set up to actually receive it yet. So you need one of each really. There you go. You can start now collecting those and start on actually producing. Yeah. The sooner that is going, the better. We are going to struggle with the astrometric data. No, wait. It's a visible observation the data that we're lacking. Which was that? UV observation frame. Oh, it's not even that one, it's the green one, isn't it? So we've got lots of visible observation frames. Start making them fast enough. Why does that only deliver so few? Hold the phone. <laughs> no, no, that's the wrong way around, isn't it? How come that is such a uh, UV observation frame? Is that that one? Yeah, it is. Okay. I wonder why that one is so slow compared to the others then. Let's see if there's any speed modules, shall we? I just think that only needs to be a normal one, I suppose. That still has a ton of iron and copper in it. And that's because those are full. I think what we might need to do is swap these to active providers so that they get pushed further into the base so that we can have more rocket landings. So I think I might actually need to upgrade them to providers, active providers as well. Let's see if we've got any yellows in storage. Nope. Let's 
Get a bunch of these. And unfortunately, I'm sorry Nick, but this is going to be a bit nasty, but I think we need to do it. Oh wait, with no titanium. Oh, damn it. My bad, I've made a load of the wrong chests. Hmm. Let's see if we have any titanium up here, shall we? Nope. So I made the only chest available anyway. It's always going to get full of just junk, isn't it? Hey, never mind. The price we pay. Actually, we only really need one doing it. Although that's going to take a long time. They're not blacklisted or whitelisted. Yeah, that really is going to take a long time if we just do one at a time. Ouch. I mean, I know I want some belts, but I don't want all that many. And I think I'm going to need another What's it called? Another provider chest. Because that is still going to take a long time even with that. Okay, so. Kind of need that to empty, really. In fact, no, what we need is the blue science to work a little quicker. Which one is it that's actually useless? This one. So I need some speed modules. I can make some tier ones. But I'm just going to request some tier threes in the next batch. Let's bring up more than we need, so we don't need to request them for a while. <clears throat> I just realised I'm still pretty thin, aren't I? <laughs> I don't need to be. I was concerned about the wire as well. 
Right, so that is empty. Let's get this filling up. We'll throw some more of them in. So the effect transmission, let's see what it's lacking. It's probably the purple science, isn't it? Pinky purple. Yeah. And what is, he, what is it that is stopping that from being produced? Because there's something stopping it from being produced. There's an inherent lack of something. So it's a lack of these, which is a lack of these, which is a lack of those. A quantum phenomenon. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. Do, 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 And it's because we're out of blank data cards. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. And we're out of blank data cards because we're out of rough data cards. Really? We're out of rough data cards? We just brought an absolute boatload up, didn't we? Wow, is all I can say. I guess we'll bring a load more up. Let's get those rough data cards in their ridiculous numbers. Showing my age now. How is that from the phenomenon? Do 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 do. Phenomenon. Do 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 do. See, I know that from uh, Radio Two. Um, the evening shows, I think it was. Um, I'm only 26. <laughs> Phenomenon, do 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 do. Phenomenon, do 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 do. I never actually, I don't think I ever actually watched that show. <laughs> Hello there, church organist. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Also, yes, yeah, sorry about the short. Well, the sudden end yesterday. Uh, after the raid. <laughs> I was not feeling great yesterday. Let's have a quick look, see how much the material testing packs. We've got quite a few. What are we missing, though? What do we not have a lot of that we should? Okay, well that is emptying nicely now. Oops, wrong button. We'll turn that back on. We'll bring... Need to bring up to be fair. Just a lot of rough substrate. I might actually get them to build a storage tank there. Just so that it can be fill up, fill up a little faster. Yeah, whatever. Pfft, I'll just do that. <laughs> Not that fast. We've got squeak through. Also, I'm going through this water at nobody's business. Like nobody's business. We're not even an hour in, and I've already drunk 
two hours with. I mean, look at that. That's that's quite neat. Quite neat rose. That should have a tank. There we go. Yeah, that'll just fill up now. Um, so that when the next rocket is ready, it can just work. It can just be fueled instantaneously. We must be running out of rough substrate. Oh wow, we're not. The base is still doing fine though. It's taking care of itself. Not much for it to complain about at this point. We've got quite a nice foothold. We've we've cleared out a lot of area. We're now just doing science. Whoa, excuse me. It's gonna take a while to empty, isn't it? I'm going to need titanium. That's what I can tell it to bring up. Right, enough. Enough. Logistic request. Titanium. Right, 2k of that. Ought to do. Seven and a half, seven, nearly eight thousand substrate. That's a lot. Yeah, we'll let that just kind of finish. So you can set it to delay the launch. Ah, but for now I do just need to make some more chests for it to push to. Here, I don't think. Got 29,000 of it now. That really is taking its time. We don't need more robots, do we? Not, not yet. We're not using all the ones we currently have. Oh, excuse me. I mean, I could help it along, but it's doing its it's doing its thing. It's doing fine. Okay, so what were you waiting on? 
Oh, just more blank data cards, wasn't it? Visible observation. Oh, yeah, visible observation data. No, that was. That was this stuff, wasn't it? And what was that one waiting on? Oh, it was this substrate, wasn't it? It was waiting on the data cards. Wait, no, that's wrong. That needs to be visible observation data. I wonder if there's none of it. <laughs> oh my. Man, I'm an idiot. So that's the only one that's been working. I'm just going to put a red one in. <clears throat> that one can then also request... Well, it can request the astrometric data. Ten of them. Because why not? And there we go, and it can just output straight over itself. That actually works surprisingly well. Off it goes. And there we have some capsules being made. A capsule being made. We actually have some astronomic insight now. Which is going to get taken over here and used in this stuff. That's going to take a while to build up, especially since we need 36 of them. Oh, wow. Let's get some more of that data substrate. Wait, do we not have any titanium? We must have titanium somewhere, surely. I mean, we are making it. I think it's being made, it's just not making its way up here. Oh no, there we go, deliver three. Wow, that really was. Hello there, Petrovsky. Petrovsky. Sorry if I butchered that name, I do apologise. Let me know if I can improve my pronunciation of it. We're all right. Struggling with the space science, just in terms of quantity, because we've not got enough data substrate up here. There we go, we do actually have some coming up, but no, we don't have enough uh, uh, titanium being made, because this is the only section that we are making it. And we've only got two, well, four chemical plants creating it. Church organist is downloading the map, welcome. Uh, once you're actually catching up. 
At least I'd make a better cook because I butchered your name like a master chef. Well, yeah. <laughs> Is there a better way of saying it? Uh, how can I improve it? a frenetic way of saying it. Yeah, the map is massive now. Oops, I probably shouldn't have saved it at the same time as you downloading it. We're up to 97 hours. Petra. I'm going to call you Petra. Because that is the first five letters and it's easy ish. That's probably wrong as well, though, isn't it? <laughs> uh, not that many then. No, it's probably not that many compared to some maps. Peter. Oh, pet. How are you there, pet? You've joined the... Oh, I didn't even realise you were catching up. <laughs> Would have paused it. Made it catch up quicker. Church is in the game. Right, we've got 70 odd titanium in there. regular but you can see that I've got a little bit of a setup. Yeah we've got we've got a nice little setup here in our biter hell. Uh, that was not easy to get and we do have our space platform as well which is nice. Not huge but it's it's working away. Hmm 600% biter settings or something like that. Um, they don't actually fire that often. Uh, the titanium plant quickly is... I'll try and lure some in. The titanium plant is down here. Let's try and lure them in. <laughs> Oops, no, wrong button. That should enrage them. There we go, that one should come to us fairly soon. This is even bigger than on map. <laughs> come on. Run to me. Here they come. Unfortunately, it has just gone tonight. I mean, that's a very small clump of them that are coming to me. But the artillery has made it a lot easier. <laughs> I'll lure them in, blast them to the Stone Age. Yeah. Ah, here we go. That's a bit better. You just get obliterated. That's how strong our defences have got now. They do often make it towards the wall, but never enough to destroy anything. Here comes another lot. Taking out that deadly, deadly rock. I 
Unfortunately, th th there's a bit of a bug where the lasers can't actually reach them, but it thinks they can. So it doesn't actually do any damage, but it tries. Now this is a decent sized one. This might actually do a fair amount of damage. We might lose a turret. Oh no, no, no we didn't. <laughs> you have a cool defense system that can use, slows down the fighters approach as well. I think, to be honest, at this point with the lasers we have, we're fairly secure. I mean, even that, all they did was a bit of damage. And now it's repaired. But I'm, I'm still interested, don't get me wrong. But uh, it's not as critical anymore. It might be useful in the early game. Let's just clear out some more of these whilst we're at it. Because why not? Disco lights. We did have Disco Science installed earlier, but it was, it was eating up UPS pointlessly. So I, I took it back out of the mod list. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah, I would agree with you, but we're doing all right. <laughs> Definitely in the early game of this, if we when we were overconfident, we were just losing the base. Um, we nearly lost the base a couple of times, actually. Entirely. It nearly got completely overrun. We're a bit past that stage now, but... I mean, it's, it could still happen, I suppose. Oh, well, our, our base is... Um, Thankfully, our base is completely walled in. There's a little gap there, but again, the lasers will take care of that, and anything that isn't will try and run along this wall, which will just eventually eat it down. And then it will just get replaced anyway. It's so all the way along there. All the way around. A little gate. Keeps going. None of that is connected up. Still not connected. That's just a strange little outpost. It goes off along there. Up there. Nice and solid. Back to the start. <laughs> but yes, you're right, it does only take one unnoticed breach. Right, where's our rocket silo? It's here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, that's more titanium. I'm also going to get more rough data substrate. Because we, we are just chewing through it. <laughs> Along with more copper. back on requesting copper. I think it might be getting its iron ore from the um, from the core mining, the core drilling. Oh, no, it's just from the logistic network. It's literally just being brought by robot. 
Yeah, that might not be helping. Okay, I have an idea. I think they're just kind of being provided from wherever it kind of gets picked up, to be honest, which is a problem. Which is probably why it's so slow. So what I'm going to do is just create a provider chest. I can just kind of pick off for the uh, for the filter uh, for the what's it called? Uh, this well, I mean, I've had Factorio for many years. I've no, I don't know when I got it it's since before Steam, at least. Um, but as for how uh, the amount of hours I can actually just, I can check Steam. I've got 312 hours on Steam, which when I started the streaming uh, streaming Factorio, I had 140-ish. So I've about doubled the amount of time, and that's within the last few weeks. So I'm still relatively new compared to a lot of people. So I've just added this box that you're stood next to now. I've literally just added it now. And it seems to be all being taken. So clearly we had a deficit there. And I was just going to let that kind of fill up so that whenever anything needed Iron. Oh, damn! It's just going to feed straight back into itself, isn't it? I'm going to make that a buffer chest, and then I'm going to set the ones by the um, titanium to request from buffer chests. That would be the other way to do it. That is true. That would probably be the better way of doing it. Oh, right on your screen. A pro. Yeah, right. Uh, meanwhile, you've entered the free, free freedom. Oh, free demo. And you're still confused as to how to do green text packs. Ah. Well, as it happens, uh, Church Organist has been doing a, a tutorial s vanilla series on Wednesdays from about, was it five in the evening you do it? Um... Something like that. The green science we just have set up using this really. Four, four o'clock GMT until about six or seven GMT. But yeah, what you need to do for the green science is is get the. It's all about getting the inputs really. You're gonna need iron. Iron and a little bit of copper. And the little bit of copper is going to be for the circuits. Ah, oh, there's the copper. So you're going to want to turn copper into thingy, into a copper cable, which you're then going to want to put into an assembly machine with iron to make the circuits. And then those circuits get put into inserters. I would start off just by going, I need a green pack. Don't worry about the uh, efficiency of it at all. Just go, I need a green pack. What do I need to get there? I need this and this. And then get one of those things, like the transport belt, because that's nice and easy. That's just an iron gear wheel and some iron. And then go, right, how do I get the iron gear wheel and the iron? Well, the iron is just smelted. So we'll just smelt that and belt it up. And then the iron gear wheel we can make in another assembler, which just takes iron, which is which we can take the iron from the same belt that we're going to use in the belt system. And then we can feed those iron gear wheels into your assembling machine. 
that is actually making belt. And there you have automated belt, which you can actually just take from yourself, so you don't need to craft it in your inventory as well. And then you feed that on into your science packs. There you have it, got your belts. And then you have a look at what you need to make your inserters. But you're already making your iron gear wheels. You can just set up another one like that. And then with the circuits, you just do iron plate and copper cable. You've already got your iron plate. So you make your copper cable. So you just then make copper, which you turn into copper cable, which you feed into your circuits, which you feed into your inserters, which are fed into the science packs. It's all just following the chain, really. It can be confusing. I'm certainly not denying that, but that's just the methodology. You just want to go, I need this end product. What do I need to get there? I need these. Follow one of those trees and just keep doing that. Uh, the thing that confuses you is how to lay things out really. The belt needs gears and iron. Same with the inserter. But for the inserter you somehow have to fit in somewhere a wire machine and a chip machine. Well, the wire machine for, if you think about it like this, the wire machine is only needed for the circuits. So I'll just very quickly lay it up, do a very, very simple layout that you can do. So you go, that is green circuit. This is how I started out, was I started out by doing, I need green circuit, a uh, green pot, which needs a belt and an inserter. I'm just going to wait for these to arrive so it can show it a bit more visually. And then I just went like that. Dun -dun -dun. These are going to take a little bit of time to arrive, aren't they? <laughs> right, so. Green circuit. Let's get some power over here so it's not constantly blinking at me. in a second so we'll go this side as being the belt and we'll go this side as being the inserter so we've got green science belt inserter so the it, the belt needs iron and iron gear wheel so if we get another another assembling machine we can go like so and just say that is iron gear wheels for the belt and that is that pretend with that is our iron in so what we can do is because the belt needs iron in yeah as church organist is saying make the green chip setup standalone and then belt it to the inserted machine if, if it's easier. So that is just making our iron gear wheels. And there you very easily have belts, uh, pre pretending that that has iron on it, because that that will pick up iron, turn it into copper into iron gear wheels, which will then feed into your belts which will then pick up iron from this belt because it's already coming around and feed it in that will then create them and just pop them straight in there then you just go this side right I need iron and iron gear wheels so what you can do is if you take a splitter uh, I don't know if the demo has splitters but it should do if it doesn't you just say oh, right take a second line of iron so you can say there's my iron it 
there's my iron in and out for the iron gear wheels. Pick up from the same belt, there's my iron. There's my iron gear wheels when it's constructed. And then you just need to get uh, circuits. And circuits are iron plate and copper cable. Oh, hello there, Nick. Well, Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good? Good, good, good. Right, and then that would be green circuits, and that would be copper cable. So if you pretend this line to the right is your copper, just plain old copper coming in. Let's get a couple of pylons in so the thing doesn't flash at us. And then you've got in just a simple inserter between. That one would be iron gear wheels, for example. That one would be your green circuits. And that one would be your copper cable. So what will happen is copper comes in this line, gets fed into here, it's turned into your copper cables. Copper cables get passed by this inserter into here. And then you can take another split. Oops, I'm gonna sneeze. Not a real sneeze, but... Ugh. So if you take a split there, and then a split from there, you could then just feed that up and around to your green circuits. And that is, in a nutshell, one way of looking at your um, green science production. Excuse me. There are ways to improve it, but very basically, that will get you green science. No worries. If you have any any quest any more questions, or if you want any better explanations, you can either check out Church Organist's videos because he has actually gone into um, a bit more detail than me. I've just gone. This is how I think about it. Get point A, split it into two. Oh, get, sorry. Get your final bit. Split it into the recipes that needed. Focus on one of those trees and break that down even further. And just keep going down like that. That's. That's the best way of trying to figure it out to start with, at least, I've found. And I don't do well with working out recipes. Nick's good at it. <laughs> oh, we have, the, we have the components of Blue Science being made. By the way, Nick, uh, Space Blue Science. Um, da -da -da. The beginning is on YouTube for Church Organist. It's not on my YouTube, it's on Church Organist's YouTube. I haven't actually got anything on my YouTube at the minute. Um, so go check out Church, uh, Church Organist's channel and then it should be linked in on his uh, Twitch page. I assume it is, Church? Oops. Uh, let's have a quick peek. Yeah, it's, it's there. Oops, how do I get rid of that now? 
Yeah, there we go. Right, we've got quite a bit of titanium plate, a bit more than I actually intended, I think. We've got a lot of rough data substrates and a lot of copper that I'm about to send up. But this, this is quite complex. But yeah, the best way to think about it is just break it down one recipe at a time. Don't try and do the whole thing at once if it's confusing, because it probably will be confusing. Just try and get, I need this. Build this, get that done. Right, I need this to feed into this, get that done. And once you get better at that, you can then go, right, I know I need this end product, but I'm gonna need a whole, I'm gonna need this many of this, this many of this, this many of this, and then you can start at the bottom and work your way to the final product once you've worked it all out. <laughs> but I'm certainly no master at it. <laughs> I basically just ride the coattails of um, Nick. As far as that is concerned. Also, I'm bringing most of the data substrate up on this trip. <laughs> and we're <laughs> out of data substrate after this. I like turtles! Oh Thank you for the follow, Pet. Petro, Petro. I don't like not being able to say someone's username. I like knowing how to actually say it properly. Petrosh, Petroshi. I'm definitely butchering that. along right that is now full I'm gonna launch this rocket wait a second yeah yeah that's full enough right is there anything you think we need on the next rocket uh, Send up what? Sorry. Oh, um. I didn't, I couldn't hear you over the rocket launch. <laughs> um. Heat uh, shielding. Heat shielding, yes. If I can find the stupid stuff. Heat shielding. How much? Just a bunch? Uh, probably a bunch. No worries. We're going to need it for processes. Well, the next rocket is ready to go. It just needs filling. Uh, sorry, we're going to need it for what? Uh, one of the uh, research... We could we could break down a cargo pod into scrap if we wanted to, or we could send it back to the planet and reuse it. What are we doing with them at the minute? I have no idea. Oh, I turned two of the um, 
storage ch these top two storage chests into active providers so that the launch pad would empty. Because these chests are now full. And I figured it would be better to get the launch pad emptied and pushed to the um, to the space station. So we can actually use it for more rockets. Okay, let's see what's missing now. It is just the polished substrate. Oh, sorry, the, pol the blank data cards. Um, I've also set a limit on the blue ones so that they don't just constantly produce. They produce about 50 of the uh, the actual cards at any one time. So if there's 50 in the network, it won't produce more. I should probably do the same for this stuff, actually. No, no, that is already set. Significant data. Okay, I'm also going to set the actual science pack production to be limited to 200. No, no, we'll, we'll limit it. I'll limit it to 300. Same for the uh, pinky ones. Just so that we don't overproduce. I think what, like, one doesn't get ahead of the other by too much. Oh, this is um, this is space scaffold. So this is the edge of the edge of the uh, the map, but we can put more ground down if we want. So this is just open space at the minute. So we're using a mod pack. Apparently it doesn't like grabbing to meteorites. Yeah, this is using a bunch of mods that change how it all kind of works. So this lot is not in the base game. Hello there, Vigor. Ah, well that's the thing. We have to bring it up from Novus, which is the planet. We're currently in Novus orbit. How are you, Vega, by the way? <laughs> Hi, great. So what we have to do is we have to ship it up in one of these rockets. Uh, I'm gonna stop the heat shielding being brought up. So we've got two and a half thousand. Just for the time being. Same with the copper. 
So I think we've got quite a lot of copper. So yeah, we've got resources on the ground down here. That we're then... We do so wish we had loaders. Yeah, that's probably not a bad thing. Not a bad point. Probably should have them. Um, but yeah, we are turning it into ore and that sort of thing. Circuits, you name it. And then we're shipping the products up. So we have to do as little as we need in... Um, so we have as little needed to do in space. Not active yesterday. Uh, we're all right. <laughs> I was not active yesterday because I was I was really not doing well after not sleeping that night. Um, I did a, an hour or two. Was it might be two hours? Um, yesterday on Factorio, but it was a very short stream. And then I just didn't. I cancelled the evening one, as you may have seen. But today I'm feeling much better. After a good sleep. It was a good, solid sleep. Um, I went to bed and I was lights out. Just, just gone. <laughs> um, and then I was woken up by that nosebleed this morning. My flatmate is still... Whoa. <laughs> well, housemate is still a bit, you know. But I'm feeling great. I do need to bring a little question. I was, that's exactly what I was going to bring up. Was, it's normally seven days to die, but I want to gauge interest. Um, because I was thinking about doing some of that Minecraft Civ craft. Civilization craft. Tonight. Because we are ready to start a civilization, time-wise we'll have the necessary resources and such to actually start a civilization. Um, so I was thinking I might actually do that tonight rather than Seven Days to Die, but I did want to gauge interest. But what time is it? 20 to 2. I might put a quick post on Discord, which I should have done before, but I just I hadn't got around to it. Um, and see what people think. Um, so, for example, Nick, do you play Minecraft? Um, with or without crashing the server? Uh, what? I don't understand. <laughs> um, I'm guessing you're very good okay. at breaking things. <laughs> um, I might have had a reputation of some friends on a server where I might have been the one to kill the UPS consistently every time we restart it. Wow, okay. That's impressive, but it wouldn't be one hosted by me. It would be hosted by a proper professional thing. Um, so if you've managed to break that, I would be impressed. Um, but it's a game... It's, 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 a, it's a game mode that have you ever played Civilization? Yes. What did you think of it? Uh, it's interesting. Yeah. I might have also broken that. Wow. I, I, I'm, I'm surprised you haven't managed to break this then. Because this is only running on my computer. <laughs> I've, I've made your, uh, a specific effort not to. Fair enough. I will, I will say thank you then for not breaking it. <laughs> but yes, there is a game mode on a server that allows you to play Minecraft in a kind of civilization manner, Civilization 5 esque. Um, and it's server side, so you only need vanilla Minecraft. Um, so I was thinking I might do that this evening. Um, Vega got surprised when he saw me reply in chat to the random YouTube person. They are a brand new YouTube person. And I think I do need to... There was a... Did you notice anything about the video? I don't want to be cruel or anything to this person. Did you notice anything a little... That might have been improved with their video, shall we say? I'm 
just I just want to gauge gauge uh, if I'm being mean or not. I'm not sure. I don't think I am. Minecraft and Civilization combined. That seems a stretch. It is a bit of a stretch, but it is it is good. It's really good. It's a very very long haul kind of game. It's not like it's not like these. Um, yeah. What are they called? Battle Royale style games. It's it's not a quick thing. It it, it can last months. Um. You stop watching after my reply. <laughs> well, my thing was that I noticed they had the, the music of Minecraft playing and their own music that they'd added afterwards. And the music they'd added afterwards was completely drowning out their voice. So you could, I, I was struggling to hear them, to be honest. So I was tempted to mention that and say, you might want to tweak either your Minecraft music or not add the extra music at the end. And, you might want to think about reducing the volume of it compared to your voice so that people can actually hear you. Is that mean or is that constructive? <laughs> I've, not, I've not got a clue. Um, music was too loud. Okay, it wasn't just me that thought that then. Right. Um, cool. Actually, I might make that... Yeah, okay, there's, there's a few things that I, I need to think about in general. And I might need to discuss with a couple of you. But not right now. Now we are playing Factorio. <laughs> and we are looking at the blue science. And seeing if any is close to being done, and if not, what the bottleneck is. And it looks like it's the visible observation data. Ooh, which we brought some speed modules up for. Because you can't put uh, productivity modules in these. Oh, you already did. Damn. <laughs> Beat me to it. <laughs> um, you can't put productivity modules in these, can you? Uh, I don't think you can put any in the science. Uh, put productivity in anything up here. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, out of curiosity, since you mentioned Minecraft, um, have you either heard of or played Greg Tech? I've heard of Greg Tech. I've not played it. I don't actually know what's involved with it either. Uh, it is one of the older, um... Mm, it's, I've, I've heard about it from a long time ago. Yeah, it's it's definitely been around for a while. Um, it was actually like a... It was an add-on to Industrial Craft. Oh, right. Uh, which is one of the, like, original industrial mods. Yeah. Uh... That actually, I have no idea when it came up, but that, that was back when uh, you actually had to be like installing a uh... bucket and whatnot. No, this was back when you were having to install uh, mods via zip files. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, you still do, don't you? Oh, it's so much easier now. Huh. Like, you had to. Oh, no, there was tech it and that sort of thing, wasn't there? And you can do it by the Twitch thing as well now, actually. Oh yeah, like now. Yeah. It, it's so so much easier. Back then, you had to. Uh, you had to actually like unzip everything into, into the file, and then you had to manually add. Uh, I remember doing that. I remember having to manually add the IDs. Yeah, I remember having to basically walk my friends through it because none of them had the patience to work it out. But I really liked some of the, uh, some of the mods. Um, I liked playing with the mods. And uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't be bothered figuring it out, so I just had to tell them step by step what to do after spending hours working out the, what needed to go where and all of that. 
and it often reached the point where I was just like, right, I'll zip up mine. There you go. <laughs> And running a server was interesting. I seem to recall. But yes. Uh, do we have another rocket coming up? Uh, we will do soon. Um, we just need to fill it with a few more th with with more things, really. Um, what were you wanting? Oh, uh, I was actually going to take down some of our impressive supply of barrels. Ah. Uh, how much buffer do we want on titanium plate? Go for maybe a thousand, two thousand? That's not a huge amount. Oh, we've got 7.7 thousand. That's fine. We'll probably use it. <laughs> um, do another situation, but telling the truth, the intent to help is not mean. Means mean is to say something with you, true or in most cases false with the intent of hurting. True, true. The game sounds get really loud, but 10% each it looks like. Yeah. We have a full belt of titanium ore going into the smelters now. Ooh. I want to see this. That is nice. What did you do? How did you change that? Oh, the first ones have... Uh, Oh no, it doesn't actually change the speed of it, does it? Hmm. You added eight more titanium ore makers. Did you? Where? <laughs> Where on earth did you fit? the wrong buttons. Oh, I was even looking at them and I didn't see the little ore thing. I thought it was just steam. Huh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> that should keep it fed. That's quite nice. Yeah, we'll just, I guess we just let that build up. Because I imagine we'll need it at some point. But yes, I was thinking I might do that tonight and get the civilization started. Because we are at a point where I just need to craft the item and then find a place to put it down and do that. So I might actually make a quick, quick question. Oh, have you gone down? Right. But yeah, all I've been doing really, Nick, is there is the kind of semi-calculated setup around this rocket. But then I've just been using a couple of chests at the bottom for a manual override. And I've just spun the inserters away. Um, I've not actually touched the rocket that you were just at for ages. Yeah, so if there's anything else you want in, just whack it in that rocket using the two chests at the bottom. Or manually or what have you. Hmm. But no, effect transmission is really no, not going fast. Let's have a look at what the limiting factor is. So we've not got any of that because we've not got any phenomenon data. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. We haven't got any of that. That's why. Oh. Huh. What? 
Oh, that's why. That's going to be an issue. Ah. That is absolutely stuffed. Ooh. Um, flip the feed, uh, flip the feed pump around that one. Uh, to the middle. No, it's to the middle of that one. Yeah. Uh, like that. Yeah, so that will keep it from feeding more in, and then we just need to uh, manually run. Well, the problem is we've got so much of the uh, 25 degrees C stuff. So actually, I've got no idea. That might give it some room to start up again. <laughs> Yeah, that's given it a bit more room to kick to kick start it. Okay, yeah, that'll work. It is, it's and a then just fix. we. Uh, actually, it's probably a permanent fix. It's just a case of. Uh, well, the problem is that'll probably fill up as well. So it probably should no, not be a temporary fix. Because the. Um. The fluid will sort of get used. Oh, but what I mean is, if we then switch the pump back around to feed more in, we'll then end up with a full set of pipes again. And then we'll have, just have a full set of extra pipes. So we'll probably need to remove it and then add it back on every so often. If you see what I mean. Yeah, I can put a uh, uh, tank up there. The other option, actually, is to just connect the... Oh no, exactly. How, do we, how do we do that? So we can we connect a pipe? No, we can't. If I, if I stick a pipe in here, a pump, a uh, tank in here, not a pump. Uh, what's the purpose of this? pump, by the way. Just out of curiosity. Uh, not, not, unfortunately, no, there isn't a way of sending circuit signals, not without another mod. It was something to do with flow rate. I don't or think something. we need it at this point, do we? Should we replace it? Although that one isn't this is stopped again because it's got too much too much pink again hmm. ah that's probably not helping either This to really fill up more. We need. Right, okay, let's find where the input of this is. Where is it coming from? Is it actually just that pipe itself? I think it might just be that pipe. So I don't think we actually have any loss on this for some reason. 
Although well, we should do, shouldn't we? Because we lose one every so often. But it doesn't seem to be. That's really strange. I'm just going to change that to be a normal pipe and see what happens. See if that works. So it might just be a case of letting this flow down. How is that still? Showing as active, even though it really isn't. I wonder if it's going to be better not to have. Oh, it might be because I've tacked onto it. Well, that shouldn't have made a difference because it's tacked onto everything else already anyway. It might be better not to have the pumps, to be honest. Uh, no, that way we can turn stuff off and on. So we're, we're actually going to need the... We're going to need to refill that loop anyway. It's just going to be a case of not overfilling it next time. Right. I'm just thinking, if we have the... Let me think about this. Because if we don't have a pump on... Oh, it'll still add to it, won't it? But if we, instead of adding... Oh, it might also be because we've got three of them going because I think if it was switched so that it kind of mimicked what the other ones did in the sense of it output the slightly colder stuff in it, it output the cold stuff to the cold kind of network and then used the cold stuff to go into directly into the warmer the cooler thingy the hypercooler, rather. And then just feed that hypercooler stuff back into itself. Much like the old other systems. That seemed, seemed to work. Hmm. There is, there is some reason why I didn't do that. And I can't actually remember why. <laughs> it's, right a, it's one of those, I did this for a reason. I don't know. One of those moments. But it seems to work like over here, where you have a main bus of this warm fluid, warm thermo fluid, that um, kind of cycles back into itself almost. Because this, this has everything feeding into this thing, which then goes back to the start. So I'm just thinking if we get all of the cold stuff, well, the slightly warm stuff, and feed it back into the start like it's doing over here and just have it kind of flowing through that way, and have a rather than having these bits that create the cool stuff straight out of this, out of these laboratories, and just have it a direct thing like the other ones. Would that not be a cleaner way of doing it in terms of 
I suppose you'd have more of the hypercoolers, wouldn't you? Hmm. Yeah, you would end up with more of the hypercoolers. Well, actually, it's uh, it's really just a case of the size of the loop. Uh, the main loop is so much larger that it hasn't had a chance to fully fill yet, whereas the side loop over here is very uh, small. Very small, and it, it basically just filled up and and then jammed. Yeah. Well, this main loop does also have the thing of if the tank has more than 20,000 Did I just output, set it? Yeah. Oh, did you just set that now? I just set that up. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> well, ignore me then. <laughs> ignore that. I think we need more heavy oil barrels potentially as well on the next shuttle up. science come through yet. Let's have a quick peek. This does not appear to be any blue science. It's certainly not a fast system, is it? <laughs> because it needs 36 of this astronomic insight. Does it need 36 of the um, electrical? Yeah, energy insight. It's not quick. It's not quick at all, but that's because this one is actually missing a lot of the quantum phenomenon data. What is that missing? Or is it just speed? I might speed that one up. speed up the energy one at least a little bit not very much uh, which is going to go over here and there we go some more science bots and that might actually be enough to finish the effect transmission tech There we go. Right, I think it might be worth letting it just kind of build up a little. Uh, definitely. So no more research. So, well, no more research using space science other than the, the white one. 
other than the white science, I, th I would say. Because we can still use white science, that's not a problem. We're making that. It's the other sciences that we're struggling with. So I'm thinking... How much white science do we have up here? We've got 10,000 white science up here. What about nuclear artillery? <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. Uh, do we have military science up here? Uh, we've got some science up here. Let's see what we've got. We are lacking production science up here, actually, in, in terms of quantity for it. So I will actually request some of that. Oh, did you come up on a rocket that was mostly... Did you come up from the, on the original rocket base? Yes. Okay, that's fine. I might actually just send that one up with the science. Right, what else are we lacking up here? Science-wise. Uh, no. Might as well get another set of space science. And then the other one we're missing... I don't think, I think I just think that was it. The next lowest is utility at 13,000. I think we're okay in that regard. Right. I should have done this before, um, but I didn't get round to it. Right, um, Vega, do you have a video for this civilization craft anywhere? In fact, I might actually make a, well, that's, that might be what I could do a YouTube video on. There we go. <laughs> um, but for now, go with
I'm not sure the the curious crustacean one is the best as an overview because that's just the, the playthrough. Okay, we'll go with that one. Hopefully, actually, can I task someone to find a video of explaining Civcraft? Vega, would you be all right to do that? <laughs> Could I put that on you, please? If that is all right. Dictator that I am. And then could you message me that uh, through Discord? If that's all right. Cheeky of me, I know. Okay, this thermal fluid is starting to decrease a little, so let's get rid of one of it. get rid of some of these pipes that were extra. Let's see what happens. Okay, it is still working. I've just switched it around quickly, just for a little bit of a, uh, an extra injection. Although actually what I can do is just go... Dunk. And then add a wire there. So there and go if hmm, where would it be <laughs> where would that be there so if cool thermofluid is less than how much can these tanks hold again is it 24 25 so if it's less than 20,000 input probably do like 500 otherwise that loop is going to suck up everything. That is, that is very true, actually. <laughs> okay, well, we're up to 2.8k in there. Okay, well, that'll just finish off what it's got in its, its, its thing. Um... So that will add more to the net to the loop if it gets below 500 of this weird thermofluid. Well, that's going to make the flow very strange, isn't it? Although it does seem to still be working. Yeah, it's fine. Although I should probably turn that back on. So it sucks everything out of the uh, out of the labs. That'll just kind of tick along, much like it was intended to. We've had 
zero products finished so far. Getting some gravimetric observation data now. We haven't got any um, astrometric data stored up. And that is because we are lacking probably the visual ones, isn't it? Visible, yeah. It's the observation frames which we run. Oh, did. Where is that? There it is. Oh, it's not set to output. Did I spin that round? <laughs> I may have spun that round because we had several thousands sat in the chest. Church organist is saving the map. Wait, what? <laughs> Drink, Vega. Church has left the game. Did I miss a comment? Oh, must get, go and get groceries. No worries. Thank you for joining us. Hydrate. <laughs> See you later. Well, if we do, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> uh, if we do, we'll see you later. Um, yeah. Making a quick change. Oh, actually, people might not be able to react with that because it's not actually. I've got this. Right, we're 
try again. <laughs> Tits and Glasgow. Right. <laughs> People can actually use those. That's a good point. Do we have any meaty defense other than on that corner? Let's have a look at the map. <laughs> Did we bring up any meteor point defense stuff? Nope. Right, I'm gonna get up on the next rocket a defense platform thingy. Defense installation. And then a bunch of ammo for it. Which fair might not actually be a bad idea having some meteors hit on the outskirts so that we can get raw resources. Although we can't actually do any smelting up here, can we? Or can we? No. I don't think we can. We can do ore refining up here. Yeah, not ore refining, oil refining using the biochemical lab. I'm still curious as to how you manage to demolish servers. <laughs> um, for the Minecraft ones, mm -hmm. um, usually most people's build order involved uh, sort of building a house and then slowly improving. Uh, mine was pretty much step one fusion reactor. Huh. Uh, step two involved a wooden door. Involved what? Uh, the basic vanilla wooden door. Oh, right. Uh, huh. <laughs> usually, usually followed by fusion reactors two, three, and four, at which point the server was crying because people, or because the, uh, the developers kept adding like bizarre requirements of, oh, let's add more ticking tile entities because that's going to be a good thing. Because people are never going to use more than one fusion reactor for the entire server, right? What, what did the fusion reactor do? How much power? Uh, 32,000 something power uh, Which a second. Not enough to set to satiate your lust for power. Um, you, uh, <laughs> the last, the last big base that I or one of the big bases I built, I had one fusion reactor powering a second fusion reactor producing iridium for um, armor okay. and stuff. So there was a reason for one fusion reactor to be powering another one. It wasn't just a, I'm going to power this other fusion reactor with a fusion reactor. Because that seems kind of pointless. Yes. So... It was it was one fusion reactor powering basically the entire base. Mm -hmm. Fusion reactor two powering fusion reactor three right. to produce the stuff to do like all the high end armor and whatnot. Okay. And then fusion reactor four was for spare power, so I wasn't doing massive solar farms because of the way that Minecraft solar worked at that point. Yeah. Unfortunately, then they changed the recipes so that basically you had to have like 
three or four times as many um, like precursor uh, items to be made. Right. Is that for and the precursor thing for the power? Yes. Right. So not the actual reactors themselves. Yeah, but that that was sort of a really bad call on their part, I think, because it's not one of those. Oh yes, we're they basically gave us two options. It was either okay, yes, you can speed everything up, but it's going to cost a tremendous amount of power. At which point, you're now going to, in order to, I think, double the speed. It was slightly more than double the power. Right. So, okay, if I need X amount of power, okay, congratulations, I'm now inserting yet more fusion reactors. And that, that server became a meme on the server of every time they they would um, patch something, it's like, okay, so how many more fusion reactors is it going to be making this time? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and not use fusion reactors that much because it, it did actually get to the point of like, just single-handedly crushing the server to oblivion. Yeah. So, the next map we did, um, I used lightning rods. Lightning rods. Oh, these aren't vanilla, are they? No, these okay. were, like, pretty high-end Greg Tech stuff. Oh, okay. So, right. um, I might have done a miscraft world that had dedicated lightning power production so that it wouldn't kill the server. I'm impressed. Genuinely so I, I I had a fusion reactor powered by lightning rods. Of nice. course no one but I was the only one who could get into the world to do any any changes because everyone was be, uh, was getting killed by the lightning strikes. And it wasn't killing you? Uh no, I had the armor to take it. Oh, and you, you weren't sharing it. Be well, I, I had the armor because that's what the fusion reactor was for. <laughs> right. And you couldn't give other people the armor because as soon as they came on they'd just die. Well, it was it was more of a case of it would take I think it would take me three or four days to get the uh like the reactor and all the materials and stuff to get them the armor. Well to to get everything set up and get me the armor and then it was uh, a couple of hours per set of armor, so wow. it, it wasn't quite the just able to print off sets of armor like you can back on you. Yeah, it was a hassle. <laughs> um, it was more of comparison time. Yeah. yeah. And then, usually by the time that they, by the time I could get that set up, then everyone else was. They could actually survive for a couple of minutes, All right. but uh, but they were using sort of the mid-tier armor, so they would be knocked around a whole bunch, and they just didn't like they didn't like coming over. I can understand not wanting to uh, to have to deal with lightning strikes constantly killing you. I can I can kind of understand that. Yeah, and then, uh, I mean, I, I've done sort of all sorts of wacky antics like that. Um, one, one map, I did my entire server in a single chunk. Um, you did what? Uh, I had, I had my entire base in a single chunk. <laughs> right. Uh, bedrock to, to Skyrock. <laughs> yes, so the entire... The entire base was very carefully measured out to be a single chunk. It was the likest chunk on the server by I can't say I'm many, many orders of magnitude. So I, I imagine what happened was, as long as your render distance was low enough, you could go around it. And then as soon as you went into vision of it, that's it. Death. Death to your old computer. Um, pretty much something like that. I like the sound of it. And then there, I mean, there's been just a handful of things where I've managed to find bugs. Uh, right. 
and it, it, it killed it. Well, it was it was more of one of those things of I was pushing I was pushing a couple of mods to do things that they were they had clearly never even been considered uh, to be used for. Right. And after about two hours, uh, the server would just break because of errors piling up. Um, not necessarily errors piling up, but there was one mod that would uh, that had like a pipe system, and as long as the pipe system or the the pipe system, the pipes themselves weren't limited, hmm. but the the items that would push. Uh, oh, was it the one that, that um, has quarries and such? Um, no, oh, it cool. was um, because I know we had we had fun with buildcraft in various buildcraft that was there. with various shenanigans. Um, red power, I think it was. Uh, and never the used red power. That one, I really like the concept, but there were a couple of items, like the ones that had to do with the pipes. Mm. Uh, basically, the the items that would inject things into the pipes uh, would just keep injecting things into the pipes. Mm. And insert a tree farm. Um, and it was just a case of most people do a like 5x5 five five tree farm. I would do a chunk I would do several chunk, yeah. chunks worth of tree farm. You'd do the biggest tree farm you could. Yes. And then it was just a case of I was actually... I was able to push enough items in fast enough that it would finally crash, whereas everyone else would have crashed in like two or three months later. I was just I was just the one who was actually hitting stuff in, in server, like yeah. reasonable server times. Have you ever managed to crash a vanilla server? Um, that's the that's the important I, question. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, um, I think we might be safe. Mostly because, um, probably. I know they've they've made a bunch of changes since I've really played around last, mm. but yeah. Uh, one of the people on the server thought it would be an interesting idea to do a bit of mining. Uh, said mining involved buildcraft and removing chunks at a time with the miners. Yep. So I like, uh, I liked making them sixty-four by sixty-four or whatever the max was you could make them. Um, they would take we act, decades to finish. We, <laughs> uh, we actually found a way around that. It oh, was really? the individual, instead of using the, the quarry uh, setups that most people would do, we used the in, the single block miners on uh, oh, you would red power frames. put them everywhere. Mm -hmm. oh my God. So we had a uh, basically a floating platform that would fly over the ground stop for a second <laughs> dump what dump probably it was either one or two of my fusion reactors into the quarries delete everything down to bedrock in about a second most of that was the server lag yeah. and then step forward and repeat the process Good grief. that's just brutal brutal i tell you <laughs> um Everyone on the server, including the person who was running it, found it absolutely hilarious. Yeah, that's fair. But still brutal. <laughs> right, this is ticking away. Quite slowly. It actually has some energy science packs in the request chests. Hmm. 
None of the blue ones, though. They have not yet been created. I'm, I'm very tempted to put another telescope down for the visual ones. Since that is the one that is really slowing everything down. Yep, I'm going to make another telescope. Forty. And one of, one of them, two of them. Oh, there it is. Oh, but that means I need another one of these. Unless I don't. Oh, we're actually lacking in the medium temperature thermofluid for these. Apparently this is really burning through it. Is there another level up to the thermal radiators? Oh, but it's very slow. So I'm thinking we might actually need more of these thermal radiators if we're going to be more efficient in terms of the actual um, quantity of the fluid. Is oh that one just about kept up. Yeah, I might have to build another thermal radiator. Four of them. Bunch of pipe. Just to keep up with this lot. Then that needs to be another thermal radiator. Ah. I'll take that.
Right, that's just going to take a little bit of time for me to make. Just make sure that has enough to keep going. Should be enough. Yeah. Huh. It'll do. So that needs speed modules. Is that actually managing to keep up? Oh, it is. Hmm. Maybe we won't need two. Oh no, it has stopped because it doesn't have... Although it is keeping up. Hmm. So that makes two, two second crafting time and it uses ten. So that is a what, 50 second crafting time and it creates 200. So that's actually a perfect ratio, isn't it? Cool. Oh, excuse me. Or is it? No, it isn't. I mean, it's slightly too fast, but I can share it. Oh, that was a little pipe.
We use that up. We're gonna let that run, run out. In fact, I haven't actually even made us. I mean, no, we're not making a second one out. We're just shifting it. But we are gonna need more of this underground pipe. Okay, well I need to make a bunch of this pipe. So these two are going to be able to keep up with these two in theory. Uh, but that one's also on, so that's fine. data that's the issue. Ooh, that's, oh no, that's because I've disconnected to shift it. How far can these pipes, these underground pipes, go? By the way, uh, six, I think. It's probably probably better to replace a few of these underground pipes that don't well with normal pipes because they they take ten in order to uh, to make that six gap. Those two would be fine. Yeah, should be able to keep that lot fed for a while.
Hydrate. <clears throat> So this pipe should start to actually back up a little, in theory. Show me where we began back in where once that gets, once this lot get up to a thousand, it will start backing up properly. Actually, max out, which will allow the others to start maxing out as well. I think it's just that this one's in the middle, that this one's getting the priority. But I mean, we want this one to have priority anyway, since this is the one that's always been slowing everything down. Oh no, that's a question I have actually. When you play Minecraft, I played Minecraft a lot of you. Did you play it with the window on, or did you play it full screen? Out of curiosity. I'm not sure. Um, I probably did it window. Because it's, it, it's, it's one of the only games I can think of that you don't play full screen. Like no one plays it full screen. It's always a windowed game. But there's no reason, really. The only reason I can think of is that it used to be a, a, a windowed game only. And people have just kind of accepted that it is always windowed. They've got used to it being windowed, if nothing else. That one is maxed out, which will allow the others to start maxing out a little quicker as well. It's got a lot of that thermo fluid. Is out of heavy oil. It's going to be 5,000 of that. Well, that one is full, so I'm going to launch it. Already nearly ready for the next launch. It's not very far off. I 
I might set it to launch on cargo full. Oh no no no, no it would be... No it would be launch on cargo full wouldn't it? Delayed. Right, yeah, it's ready to be launched <laughs> once the cargo is full again. Anything else you want to bring up? Um, I'm going to gonna need to shut myself up again okay. in a second. Alright. Uh, if you are going to do that, use the old launch pad. Okay. Just purely because um, that one's a nearly full rocket of petroleum and water. In fact, are we still using petroleum much up here? Uh, the, I think we can turn the heavy oil down a little bit. I mean, I've just launched up another rocket of heavy oil because um, we had, uh, had run out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know we need more water. Yeah, because they, 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 well, we need it for the thermofluid, the heavy oil. We had 1,000 in this buffer chest, but. <laughs> It is requesting from buffer chests. But let's have a look at what barrels we've got. We actually have 11,000 empty barrels up here. We have zero water. I'll, I'll get extra water in that rocket, being put into that rocket then. Three hundred, not three thousand. Right, the next rocket. Well, the rocket you come up with should have a decent chunk of water. Yeah, take the uh, take the rocket, that, the original rocket launching site. Um, that one's nearly full. And I'll set this one to bring water up. That's, yeah, three thousand water in that one. Oh, I, I did actually think of something we can use the bio sludge for. I can't remember what it was. Fully. Oh, we can make crude oil using methane out of the bio sludge. So we can find some methane up here. Then we can uh, we can make use of the bio sludge. Adventure. Well, I get the feeling there isn't going to be any methane at all in this asteroid belt. Kind of annoying, but I kind of understand. Oh, there's coal up here. We can mine coal.
Although I don't know how we'd get it back over. Unless you spare scaffolded it all the way out here. Actually, slow down if we stop boosting. Yeah, we're actually slowing down. So I think we would actually come to a stop, given enough time. Dun -dun -dun. Look at this surfing through space. About to hit the platform. Dunk. <laughs> ah, we don't need to bother with um, meteor point defense anywhere anymore because we've got uh, meteor defense installations up here now, and they will cover. Whole th oh, oh, I was about to say that it doesn't fit. <laughs> to cover the whole thing. And it can be probably be put in a better place. I'm gonna sneeze! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Questing about twenty of them. No, that's out of the boundaries. Wow. Let's go for twenty of that. Even though that's only a temporary place off, it still looks pretty good. I like that art style. Very tempted to set up another one of these hypercoolers and a visible frame thingy. Storage tank for pumps. Bunch of pipe. Need more pipe. Oh, we need a hundred pipe, don't we? Hmm. 
So there's a good way of doing this, but try and figure it out. Inserter and an exerter. There we go, we now should have plenty of that stuff. that one. So we've got quite a bit of the others. others. now working away. It's made a product. Oh my gosh. Made a single astrometric science pack. Is it astrometric? Astronomic science pack, sorry. Yes, it is. But it might actually start to overtake the other two. Just because there is more available. less than 50, much like the other ones. Oh, no, 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 what are the other ones? Yeah, the other ones are 50.
Um, Les, how confident are you in your reactor? Um, reasonably? Why? Uh, the base is probably going to be having power issues again here in about uh, 20 minutes. Oh, we're going to have power issues sooner than that. There's no fuel. Huh. The miners have all stopped. Because there's no sulfuric acid coming through. Oh. That's because it's been disconnected. Of course it's not coming through. Someone has ripped out the middle bit. Oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> oh, Helicus is catching up. Hello there, Helicus. Oh, Helicus will be caught up in a second. There we go. Hello there, how are you doing? That would explain why there's no fuel. Although I am impressed we got through the uranium. Fine, bit tired along there. Yep, yeah, fair enough. You ready for some more Factoria? Right, that is going to process away. That is not going to make it very far down the line. There we go. Right, there is more coming through now, which is good. I think that one went the wrong way there, Helicus. Just need that uh, pipe to go, and then it should be should be fine. Although it might be worth adding a pump there, so it pumps into the tank. Oh, there, yeah, that works. Amazing that the issue is not the enriched uh, ore, it's the unenriched. Although how that have, have those ones have run out of enriched, I have no idea. Oh, ah, I was about to say that one might it will be going round soon. I think we might need some more of these, or possibly faster ones. Can we upgrade them to Mark IIs? Ah, uh, six speed much or something. I mean, I think we'll probably still need more. Uh, I, I don't know if I can actually stick speed modules in them from here, can I? Oh, uh, actually upgrade them to Mark threes. Yeah, I don't think I can put speed modules in them. Yeah, so I need an upgrade planner from yeah, basic to not basic. Oh, I don't have a problem. Hmm? Did you say you have a problem? No, I know what some of the problem is. With what? Uh, with the... Fuel. Uh, yes. Well, I think a big problem was that there was no sulfuric acid going in the first place, so there was no new uranium ore being added. 
but if you know the other issue, what's the other issue? No beacons. Hmm. That certainly won't help. <laughs> but we weren't actually able to make beacons anywhere. But we can now. And it looks like we are. Because it looks like they're about to be delivered. Because they're not requested. They're not a missing object. But we are missing the centrifuge mark threes. So I don't know if they're being made. Working on it now. Oh, okay. Also, hello. <laughs> hello there. Right, those two needed power. But either way, that should help the fuel situation. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, that's not an issue. <laughs> not an issue at all. I mean, I don't like the sound of my voice very much either, to be honest, but I'm not sure many people do. But it's absolutely fine if you don't want to talk much. <laughs> don't feel like you need to. Don't feel obliged to. Wow, that has 652 used fuel cells. Um, stored up. Wow, okay. I think we might need another one of these things that breaks the old ones down. Okay, we have more fuel being made. Very slowly. I think possibly a little too slowly. I'm... Visible light. Visible observation. I'm sure we're making more of that than any of the other stuff. Yeah, we're making four of that a minute. Four or five of that a minute. And yet we're still lacking in it. Even though the others are used the same amount by the looks of things. It might just be an issue of letting them catch up. Possibly, yeah. Actually, yeah, probably. It does look like the infrared is starting to drop behind a little. Whereas the UV observation data is just doing fine. Let's have a look at this, this the craft speed on each of these. So five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. 5.8, 5.09 and 5.4. Ah. The visible observation data is 0.4 slower than either of the other ones. So it, it's not like an ex, uh, a matching speed. That's probably why. Forget it. 
Okay, well either way, it's, it, it is slowly crafting. That should allow for the next, the singular next blue pack to be produced. Can we put productivity modules in the space manufactories for um, the science bots? No, we can just put speed in. I wonder if we can use the productivity modules that are higher quality than three in. So if we can make productivity module fours, will it allow us to to put them in? That might be worth trying. Mm. I'm going to get some blue circuits to me, along with electromagnetic field data. Uh, we are making that somewhere, aren't we? Yeah, here. Quite a lot of it, actually. Uh, we are going to need that for the productivity modules, which is why it's uncapped. Fair enough. I'll be back in just a second.
hello, I have returned. Right, condenser turbine has been finished. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Chilly, I also nipped to the loo, which is why it was a little bit longer than potentially I should, well, would have been. I'm also gonna get ahead and eat some chocolate. Ugh, I can never open these things properly. I can never get the angle on them. Snap. Oh, very solid. <laughs> I might look at increasing blue science. Oh wow. The blue science required is absolutely minuscule. It needs eight. needs eights and tens and that's it there's a 20 in there but other than that it's absolutely minuscule it's probably because it knows how how long it takes to get the science for it hmm. now we've got another one of these being made means we are up to three of these products. Huh. Oh, right, okay. Well, that really is solid. Okay, Nick, what have you been working on? Or what are you working on at the, mo <clears throat> uh, at the moment? Circuits in the main base. Okay. I didn't realize we were lacking so much. Uh, less lacking, more of just finishing off the, uh, the design. Not getting any super. Oh, because the pipe has been removed. Oh, it was never there in the first place. It's got a pot ghost down. It probably wasn't there in the first place. Starting to get a little bit of a build up, which is good again. Because I didn't, I honestly didn't think we'd ever run out of that stuff. So that has 2.2k in it. And then how much spare? 14 spare. I don't know how these early ones, how these ones ran out. Oh well.
<laughs> Does anyone else think that the item request slot thing that requires a robot? Does, does anyone else think it looks like the head of a cow with a cross above it? Um, yes. As weird as that sounds. I I thought the exact same thing. Why why are the uh, uh, beacons requesting cows? Yeah. <laughs> that's quite that's quite good. I like that. In a weird way, I like that. I think the um. Uh, what are they called the oh. centrifuges? I think they can be well set to not have speed modules in them anymore now that the beacons are there. But I don't think I can change that. Ah, thank you, Helicus. Because we're clearly not making enough um, uranium ore, so if we have productivity like so, it'll be better overall. So thank you for changing that, Helicus. Because we are now start starting to get a bit of a, a backlog again, which is good, of the 238 uranium. <laughs> and we do have 200 fuel cells backed up again which is fantastic because it means the generator is fully back on I am curious to know how much this can output power-wise. Let's go a little nuts, shall we? This might drop the UPS quite a lot. It's all for the testing. Let's have a look at the power. Hopefully we get attacked a lot. It's 
that's quite a big red. So it can handle, we have no issue producing four gigawatts of power. I don't even know if we're getting close to the cap there. I'd say 12 to 15. Mm. Are we ever going to reach that amount of power needed? Um. <laughs> yes. Are you going to do your thing? <laughs> well, you break the server. Well, the... It's more... Breaking of the server is more about just sheer numbers of, uh, of right. things. Yeah. And... With the power, uh, just well, between different. the yeah, between the beacons and the uh, assembly fives and the core miners, they're going to be producing a lot more for the same number of uh, of basically entities. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to use more power, but less. Right, better, spreads. better for the UPS. Yeah. Better for the EPS and appropriate, Ooh, uh, hopefully Julius. appropriately skill power. 973. We have quite a few mods. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, we've got a we've got a nice little biter base. Nice and little. <laughs> we've managed to secure after a very long time actually it's taken us a long time to get to this I like turtles just, hello it's 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 still boo thank you for the follow I probably butchered your name much like I butchered uh, pet, pet, pets earlier <laughs> how are you is there, is there a boo? Am I saying it? How how he, how do you say that? <laughs> is there a boo? <laughs> I probably butchered it, but correct me. And now we go back to space. Still, the visible is not keeping up. Yeah, I've killed the UPS there with all those biter attacks, haven't I? Said it just fine? Okay, I like the sound of that. Uh, this is a max settings on biters map. About 600, I think it is, 600%. That's what it looks like. We played only the first campaign. This has a lot of mods. Um, so it's, it's going to be confusing. This is, um, this is a randomly generated map. So next in the thing that we're doing... Uh, Nick is currently uh, setting up RGB chips, if I'm correct. Yes. Although he's currently in the main base doing something. I'm going to spy on him. <laughs> Whereas I am working on space science. Well, that and annoying fighters. So I'm going to be working along this tree, which is part of the mod. We've already got the blue and the pink science packs. The additional pink and blue science packs being made. They're not the fastest, but 
You don't need that much of them in space. They just take time. Um, yeah. Uh, there is a chance to kind of run out of... Well, no, actually, no. We have a mod that allows us to do core drilling. So we can mine the core of the planet for infinite resources, essentially. It's not fast. It's not necessarily fast, but it, it, it means that we can always have resources. It's energy expensive. And even then, it's not actually that expensive energy wise. We could have more of them. Um, but it does mean, in theory, we will never run out of power, uh, resources. Otherwise, we would have to do a lot of expanding. But we have very high richness on the resources that are on the map. So for example, this one is 19 million and it's, it's only a small-ish patch. And we've got a 3.2 million uranium patch there. So it's very rich, but it's very infrequent. So the next iron is gonna be, well, there's a patch there that we retreated from, I think. 26 million iron. Then after that, the next closest one, I think, is this one over here, which is 59 million. Oh no, so there's a 24 million there. Uh, 19 million there, 59 million there. So it, it, it's, we've got a lot of resources available to us. And we will probably need to expand to them eventually, but we still have 27 million in that oil patch. Uh, we've got 26 million there, 49 million there. So we're, we're good on resources. Yeah. Three products finished in this blue science. And that needs 36. Can we get nuclear artillery now? I think we actually can. Because I think we have enough science up here. Ah, oh, no, we are lacking in the production science packs. Oh, ah, no, they might just be in the requester chests. Ah, uh, we don't need it for nuclear. Do we not? No, it's military. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, in which case, yeah, it's doing now. It's going now. Uh, where's the launch? There it is. Um, are you staying down there for a while? Uh, I'm almost done. I'm going to be popping up in like uh, two, three minutes. Right, okay, in which case. I'll leave that rocket there then. Although there are two rockets ready and waiting to go. Oh no, but if I launch it, you won't be able to land for a while whilst it empties. The only problem is extracting it fast enough to feed the smelters. Yes. But what with this nuclear expansion we have? Uh, we could, in theory, we could just have an absolute bunch of these core mining drills. Um, just constantly mining away with core fragment processes, just working overtime. Because, I mean, the, these bottom few aren't even doing anything because they can't get enough out. Yeah, that whole area <laughs> is kind of janky though. Yeah, that's true. 
It might not actually be a bad idea to make that a slightly more effective setup. And just utilize the core drills because we have so much extra power. Also, welcome back, Church Organist. <laughs> Good grocery shopping. Ooh. Crude oil. Oh, that's going up to this lot, isn't it? That's where some of the stuff has gone. That should make sense. <laughs> that is absolutely fine. Oh, do you have the blueprint for the beacons around the plastic area? Because you might as well slap that down. Yeah, let me see if I've got that still. As good as it gets? Well, yeah, it is grocery shopping. Weird as it man might sound, it might not be a bad idea to put in a little balancer here. Other than no, no, no it, it wouldn't make sense, would it? Because it's it's still balanced. So if by one of them running out quicker, it means that the other ones all speed up there. Uh, Hmm. Now we have the beacons, it might be time to redesign the smelting areas. Um, I'm not sure to be honest, because, I mean, look at those belts. Those belts are pretty full. So I don't think speed is the issue anymore. In fact, I'm fairly comfortable. That the speed isn't the issue that with those beacons anyway. Uh, probably it would be worth. It yeah, it, it'd probably be worth trimming them down just so that they're either a little bit more sensible or uh, push this one that's sticking out and driving probably everybody, including myself, nuts. Which one? Uh, oh, this one. Ah, uh, I actually forgot yes, about the that. one. I haven't, I haven't <laughs> spotted it. Weirdly. I was aware of it because there used to be a stone patch, but I'd never really taken it into account. Uh, but I'm thinking... Also, Church um, says we can do it in half the space with about, well, about half the space with beacons, so... Yeah, that's that's yeah. what I was thinking. That's fair. Um, is just probably redo it in a proper, sort of however large we need to feed the belts that we have, and then probably duplicate uh, the entire thing over there-ish uh, to feed probably more chips that we're probably going to need. Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Whatever's needed to get it working. Also, it looks like we might need to bring some more solar panels up based on the uh, number of items that are missing things up here. How's the power doing up there? Probably fine. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're doing alright. We're not overusing. We've got 1.9 in 1.9 gigajoules in storage. And we've got 80, 60. Easy. In each one of these, max output oops, of 240 kilowatts. 270 of them. I can't do the maths <laughs> in my head. Uh, there is a calculator, isn't it? 
40 times 270, right. 240 times 270, 64, no. Actually, I don't know what the... Okay, well, we're, 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 we're getting over 100 megawatts, that's for certain. So 600 megawatts, maybe, we can produce? No, 60, yeah, it must be 648 megawatts or something. Okay, so we're, no. we're good though. Yeah. We are good. Okay. It's just going to take a long time for the nuclear artillery to be done. So, in the meantime, it looks like you started the orange science packs, so I will look at the green ones. Uh, yes, can you make sure that the orange is actually producing properly? Um, it, I didn't realize it was finished. It looks half done. Um, it's a little spread out, but oh. it should be oh, actually yeah, yeah. everything there. It's missing something. I know that much. It's missing the tensile strength data. Let's see if it's producing it fast enough. That is compressive strength. That is it tensile. could be... So it is, in theory, out... Putting. Oh! <laughs> oh no, wait, now hang on, what? None of that's blacklisted. Did, that's did I derp on the. Uh... 50. That's 50. Hang on. Ten. Oh, I'm pressing buttons. Uh, logistic network. Ten. So that's in theory on. That is missing. So that's got tensile strength. Ah. The filter inserter wasn't set. There we go. That's better. <laughs> yeah, it's producing now. <laughs> it was just waiting for the uh, filter inserter that picks them out to be set correctly. But it is now producing, so we've got the orange ones producing. So there's only the green ones left to set up. Do you mind if I set them up? Oh, go for it. By myself? I may request uh, information from you and bits and pieces, but... Uh, I think when I had a look at the green science, I marked out an area for where it yes. should be relatively close to everything you need. Yeah, you marked out up here, this kind of area. Let's have a look at what it needs first, before I get too, too involved. So it needs biomass. Okay, right. There are five chips. That one you just needs bio sludge and blank card data. So I might actually stick that in near the decontamination thing. Because then it can just decontaminate it straight away and then filter it back in. That's going to be an easy one to set up. So genetic data is made in a genetics laboratory. And where's one of those? There. That is nutrient vat required, which I don't think we're making, which requires nutrient gel, 
Well, we don't have methane gas, so we can't make it that way. So we are going to have to make it using coal, chemical gel, biosludge and cosmic water. Which isn't, I suppose, that expensive really. Which means we're going to need a biochemical laboratory. Which is going to need 100 glass. 100. It's going to need six engine units. Ooh. So they're going to need 100 pipes, which I'm just going to make 100 of, because we're going to need pumps as well, I believe, probably. We always need pumps. So there's four pumps. Hello there, Vega. Welcome. I noticed that you picked both options <laughs> in, the, uh, in the little question in general. Oh, by the way, that's a good point. Tonight there's going to be another stream, but it's going to be either a civilization um, Sydney's civilization style Minecraft playthrough, which is going to take a long time. It's not a quick episode, a quick stream. Uh, it's going to be a recurring one, or it's going to be Seven Days to Die. And there is a little question in the Discord asking for a reaction, Hydra, in order to deter, to get kind of get an interest for either. See which one is the preferred one. I think I might still, I might go for the um, Minecraft one anyway, but I want to get interest. If there's an overwhelming majority of interest for the Seven Days to Die, I'll probably do that one. But I'd like to know. If it's about even, I'll probably go for the Minecraft just because that one is ready. And I want to do that a little bit. So, three chemical plant. Ooh. Uh, I guess one, two, three. Then I'm going to need one of these space manufacturing things, which is this one, because this one always seems to be the one. Biochemical laboratory. Let's see how many of these we actually need. One. Just the one. Well, two, really, I suppose, because we need one for, for the nutrient vat. Hmm. So that's... Okay, I'm just going to work backwards. I'm just going to wait for what I need. Three of them, some of them, a few of them, those and that. Right, so we've got the biochemical, wow that is big. <laughs> Slap that there, I don't really know what's needed. But I know we're gonna need nutrient vat. I think. Well, we're gonna need biomass, which means we are gonna need nutrient gel. You wanna play both, so you pick both options. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, there will be uh, a bunch of my friends playing with us if we play the... Um, Minecraft one as well, and they will be on voice. Um, just a bit of a, a fair warning. There'll be four of us as extra, uh, three extra. Yeah. Bioculture. Which is made in a genetics laboratory, which is needs the nutrient vat. So I'm going to need the biochemical. So this is going to have to be. Nutrient fat, which is nutrient gel and iron plate. How do we get nutrient gel? Sorry, no, this is going to have to be. Ah, so we do, do need another biome. Mm, 
chemical uh, thing. So, do we have any iron gear wheels up here? Probably not. No, I don't think so. Um, there we go. So that actually needs to be the nutrient gel. Of which we're going to need cosmic water, bio sludge and chemical gel. So we've got cosmic water there, cosmic water there, bio sludge in the gallons there, and chemical gel. Are we making chemical gel already? Or is that, no, that's plasma? Something plasma, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, it's over the oh, no, plasma line. Ah, so I can make use of that chemical gel manufacturing already and in fact I can make use of both the yeah I can make use of the cosmic water and the chemical gel that comes out of it uh, well the cosmic water that goes in and the chemical gel that comes out because it's not using the full amount I wonder if putting a life support facility on this space station platform thingy will allow us to uh, not need our suits. It's probably not going to work, but I just wonder. Have you launched a rocket? Uh, no. Is there anything that you need to bring up? Um... Red circuits, maybe. Let's just see if there's any in the, in the network. Yeah, we're out of red circuits. Unless I'm just being blind. No, we don't have any red circuits. Which means we're not making dead cards anymore. Although we do have quite a lot of blank dead cards. Okay, so this biochemical facility. What have I done with it? Where is it? There it is. Put it that way around. Oh no, it doesn't use that stuff, does it? D -d -d Although it uses that stuff. We're not making space pipes up here automatically, are we? No. Damn. But they should be coming in. So I'm always lacking in the space pipes. Oh, I didn't realize we had load in storage. That really doesn't go very far, does it? Um,
Hello there, Jägermeister Paladin. Welcome. <laughs> How are you today? We're now making solar panels in Mark III. Fantastic. Ah, oh, did you just launch up? Yeah, you did. Yes. Yeah. Is there anywhere else we can just clear out? Nah, it's not worth it, is it? Cool. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually make this in a proper proper place. I'm not gonna try and cram it in like I normally do. But I'm gonna make some more biochemical manufacturers or laboratories or whatever they're called. glass, six of them, lots of them, three of them, some of them, more needed? Yeah, more needed. There's a good chance I'll need more than what I've got, but we'll go with what we've got. So we've got a biochemical laboratory. Let's make a mechanical laboratory because that should be fairly easy in comparison. Yeah. Lots of engine units. Gun turrets. We don't have any gun turrets up here, do we? I'd be surprised if we did, to be honest. What do you need a mechanical one? Uh, for one of the... Uh, Biomechanical data recipes. For the catalogue, because you need five for this one. Uh, I need a mechanical laboratory. And then I also need a spectrometry facility and a thermodynamics laboratory. Um, the point of exploring the space is um, you get all the extra. well, rockets. You can only do the space science in space. You can't do it on the ground. Ooh. And it, uh, it adds a lot of extra recipes and engines and all sorts of things, just to prolong the end of the game a little. Well, actually quite a lot, I suppose. <laughs> You can also go to other planets. We have found... I like this planet a lot. But we found a planet that is entirely biters. I would love to go to that planet and just wage war and clear it out. Not using a plague shell either that just wipes out everything on the planet. I'd love to go and just establish a colony there. Because then it would be very much like... Uh, Starship Troopers, just in case of we have to get a foothold and then win. <laughs> but I'd like to do it without artillery either. Uh, just in the middle, we just land and then we go. <laughs> we have to set up defences then and there, very quickly. <laughs> set up an outpost, we've got to fight, our way, fight for every inch of ground. I'd quite like to do that at some point. <laughs> Just because I think it'd be fun. Yeah, wherever it drops us, that's where we have to get our foothold. Ah, nukes is too easy. Although, to be fair, they did have nukes in Starship Troopers. Right. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Did you make a mechanical laboratory already? Um, I thought I'd seen one. Yes. Has it, has it there, are, there are um, parts missing now. What, from the mechanical laboratory? Yes, we need steel up here. 
I've got a hundred. Oh! You know what we can do? Uh, we can actually break the barrels down, and I think it's a perfect breakdown. Uh, into barrels steel. into steel. Hmm. How do we break them down? I don't see a recipe for it. Uh, in the recycling facility. I don't know where that is. Oh, here it is. Oh! One empty barrel is one steel plate. Well, that means we don't have to go back down, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I do actually have steel, by the way. Right. Concrete. Heat shielding. Oh wait, did you did you say you'd made one? Uh, oh, yes, we do have the gun turrets up here, so we don't have to um, go make the. Facility, isn't it? Oops. <laughs> I nearly made another recycling facility accidentally. I do have a uh, we, it. It'd be fun. We uh, we do need a second one or a third one. Oh, recycling facility. Yes. Inventory for requesting the things I need. And you said we do have gun turrets. Uh, yes. In that case, I can make a mechanical laboratory. I'm just going to quickly make that. Why do I have so many engines? <laughs> I've got absolute shed load of engines on me for some reason. Right, so I've got my mechanical laboratory. Spectrometry facility. Do you have a spectrometry? Spectrometry facility uh, already no. made. No, that is fine. Do we have any processing units or accumulators? I'm going to assume not. Uh, well, we've got um, the processing units, but the accumulators. Accumulators probably. Oh my gosh, we do. You, I'm guessing you brought a load up at the start or something. Yep. But I'm going to guess, assume we don't have laser turrets, Mark 1. We do. I made it. Oh. <laughs> well. Do you mind if I make the green science? <laughs> oh, go for it. Pieces. Oh. Um, I don't want to step on your toes or anything, but I don't no, want to do, do that. Um. <laughs> I feel like I'm, uh, I do want to feel a bit useful. Okay, I'm going to see if I can address the um, <laughs> things crashing into our platform. Oh, is the meteor point defense not? working.
I'm not sure. I haven't seen them fire at all. I mean, we destroyed one that was out of range of the other ones. So I think the Meteor Point defense installations are working. We just need more of them. Oh, no, that's in the wrong place. One, two, three. So I think it just needs to be like so. That needs 20 or something. Because that should be able to shoot down two meteorites anywhere. Um, yes, this is a special mod pack. This is, well, it's not a mod pack, it's a several mods merged together. Uh, the Factoria mods command will show you which ones are used. So we've got all of those mods installed. And this is the space part of it. So we've got all these planets and we're currently in orbit around the main planet. Uh, that one is full. I'm gonna... I don't need to request anything. I'm gonna send this rocket up to us. Unless... I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it up because I think we need everything, don't we? We probably need more water. We always do. Oh no, we've actually got a decent amount of water in there. Ah no, we are running out of water slightly. Although we do have quite a bit of it still. So I'm gonna launch it anyway. Next rocket. And here it comes. I wish it auto sorted the, the uh, contents of the rocket before it's launched. Also, welcome, Ch Chandizi. I had to take a second there to read that properly. Right, um, what was the next thing? The next thing was a thermodynamics laboratory. Which is a lot of steel plate, which I don't think I put on the last rocket. So I'm just going to grab a bunch from there. <laughs> Be sneaky. Uh, I've lost it. Eight storage tanks. Six, seven, eight. Where is it? There it is. Then a chemical plant. And then a set of heat shielding. Sixty. I'm just going to get a bunch of underground pipes because that always uh, goes. <laughs> That's always needed and it always takes forever. So I might as well make them produce whilst I'm waiting. So that is then going to make the thermodynamics laboratory. Ah. Oh, I do have an electric furnace. Chemical plant, heat shielding. Low density structures and that. Right, so I have everything except the uh, genetics laboratory for this. And, and for the genetics laboratory, I need some of the precursors for other bits anyway. That's my stream. You know the plasma stream that you've already got set up? 
Uh, yes. Is there going to be enough excess for me to take an offshoot? I think there is, isn't there? Uh, there should be... Lot. Yep. Uh, there's a line running up already. Ah, there is. Right. Cool. Right. I'm going to slightly change the angle. But no, there's no point changing the angle on that. <clears throat> so, what's going to be the easiest to start with? The easiest to start with is going to be the genetic data. No, it's going to be the hardest to start with because we don't have the genetics laboratory, which requires more things later on. So I'm going to start with... Biomass, biomass, biomass sludge. So I'm going to start with by making biomass, apparently, which is bioculture and nutrient gel. Bioculture is nutrient vats, genetic data, and bio sludge. Wow, we're going to need a lot of genetic data. That's probably why it's the easiest one in terms of setup. That's fine. So we're also going to need nutrient vets, we're going to need nutrient gel. So we might end up just doing that one first anyway, just because we have to go with that one. We have to get the nutrient gel, regardless. So coal, chemical gel, bio sludge and cosmic water. So bio sludge, cosmic water is there, which we can feed off. Maybe. Might be able to feed off. Either way, we can just get another line if we really need to. Um, we can bring it up there or something. But that is going to need a biochemical laboratory, which is that one. So that is going to be an input. Put it slightly out of the way. Does, I'm not going to worry about the extra wasted space. So that I'm going to set to nutrient gel. So I know where each thing needs to go in. And we have excess of this. So I can take from this and go across this way. Bring it up here. And do that with it. Let's get more underground pipe because we're probably going to need it. So that is the chemical gel going in. So bio sludge. Better off taking that up slightly more and then going across. Hydrate. So that will take to there. Now we need more of that normal space pipe. Why am I taking it from there? I could just take it from there. <laughs> um. As I said, I'm going to need a lot of this space pipe. Right, that is the space pipe going, the biochemical, uh, the bio sludge going in. I'll set that with a request the chest. I'm going to make another few request the chests. But I'm going to make more than just a few. I'm 
And some provider chests as well. And then make more space pipe. Cosmic water. to bring that up. Actually that will work as a position. Oh, I might need to take it. I know that will actually work. Because it will run up just the side. It'll, sorry, it'll just run up the side. <clears throat> so that is going to request a minimal amount of coal, because it only needs one per 50. So we'll do, we'll do 10. And now we just need the cosmic water. There we go, we're now making nutrient gel. Which is needed quite a few places actually. So I'm going to try and keep the line clear. So we're making nutrient gel, which can be used in the nutrient vat. Is it used anywhere else? No, it's just in biomass, which is needs the ah needs nutrient gel as well, as well as bioculture and nutrient vat. Ah, so that needs a genetics laboratory as well, actually. So we need a lot of these nutrient vats. So that should be alright. And then I am late. We're going to need these quite fast. Oh wow, they do not stack very well. They don't stack at all, come to think, come to think of it. Come to speak it. But we are making nutrient vats. which are needed in that. Let's get 80 of those to me, and I can just yoink those. I'm just going to let that produce, because... Well, we're going to need a lot of it. Okay, I need to go and make a genetics laboratory. Going to require a, those, those, all of those. Ah, I've lost them. Those, I don't know why I have 58 of those, but we do. And that. And we're actually going to need more than one, so I am actually going to leave that all kind of in there. I'm just going to pick up more nutrient gel. Uh, nutrient vats, sorry. So two genetics laboratories, but we're probably going to need a another one out we? because we've got one for that and that's a growth facility I mean we will need a third for the experimental one but that's not for a while yet ok 
we actually only need two, so we'll reset that. Put as many of those in there as we can. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have the genetics laboratory, we can set up the first one, which takes blank data cards and bio sludge. And since we have the bio sludge there already, we might as well make use of it. And since it outputs contaminated water, we might as well connect it to the rest of the flow. Because we are still making ground to pipe, I'm going to make even more. Now we are going to need a lot of these genetics ones, I think, so I'm going to limit it to four stacks. Because we need them for a bioculture. Ah, oh, of course, I'm going to need to make a growth facility, aren't I? Oh, lamps? Ooh. I'm going to assume there are no lamps up here. Because that would be um, rather strange. Nope. I'm pretty sure there's not. You're correct, there is not. But I need a hundred. Gonna set that going first. And it's three. So that needs to be a hundred and fifty, actually, doesn't it? growth facility is... Ah, that's the lamps. 400 glass. Oh, I'm requesting the mirrors, aren't I? Let's get rid of some of these rather more specific items. Actually, no, we can still keep the plastic because we'll almost always need to make more pipe. Let's make those pumps as well. And then we will need 100 pipe. Right. So whilst I'm acquiring stuff for the growth facility, 400, wow. Well, yeah, whilst I'm gathering that stuff, we are making generic, genetic data, not generic data. We have run out of bio sludge. 
because we have a lot of cosmic water. I didn't think that would be a problem. it needs. Decontaminated. Ah. That could be why. Because it's not, it's prioritizing this decontaminate this. Ah. I, can feel your I understand, right. So let's go ahead and put. Let's. Hmm, how do we do this? Oh, 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 I know. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. Too far. <laughs> need a pole. Which is a middle point. So we do that to there, to there. And go, if cosmic water is less than, I don't know, 15,000 or something, insert. Otherwise, don't. And then it'll not prioritize this anymore. And this will get used up, this facility that I'm running around, which will then allow the stuff that's in this pipe that's been de decontaminated to be used, which will then allow bio sludge to be recycled again. Uh, sorry, but the bio sludge to be made again. Probably also need to increase the amount of bio sludge anyway. Is there a way of actually just making bio sludge? Yes. From biomass. Raw fish or wood? Microgravity fish growth. Huh. So are we, can... we gonna be pro Are we producing fish out of nothing? Yes, that would be producing fish out of nothing. Well, not at the minute, but we could. That is an option. Somehow, that is an option. Okay. So that has stopped producing. That has stopped, or will stop producing fairly shortly, I, I imagine. Once it runs out of the lubricant, because I know it's got two more rounds it can make. Ah, but it doesn't have enough water, so it won't make any more. Which means that this decontamination facility will start to be used a lot more. Because it'll be able to get rid of the the what's it called? The decon the contaminated cosmic water. And the thing that's stopping the contaminated cosmic water from going is the normal cosmic water. So once this runs out of cosmic water we should be fine. But I probably do also need another input from 
of bio sludge, sorry. Experimental biomass and cosmic water. I don't know how you get experimental biomass. It's not even a recipe. I don't think we've unlocked that one yet. that's ticking away we've got some generic genetic data come out which is good so for all of these we need biomass and to make biomass I need bioculture which is nutrient gel and something else we got nutrient gel here nutrient gel Sorry, biomass, which is bioculture, which is nutrient vats, sorry, and genetic data and bio sludge. We're going to need a lot of bio sludge. Okay, what uses cosmic water? <laughs> because we don't seem to be going down very fast. Uh, it's the... It's the thermal uh, stuff, isn't it? Chips that... It's, yeah, it's the thermal stuff and the chips. I'm going to go get another round of... Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, another round of what, sorry? Uh, another round of red circuits and you know, things like that. Fair enough. Right, so I can make bioculture. And it's made in a genetics laboratory. Which I happen to have right here. Actually, change it so it's like that, and take that through that gap instead. And be both. Oh well, it needs to turn there anyway, so I might as well do that. So that can make bioculture, and because of how it is, I can set it up like that, so it will just straight up insert into it. And we need the nutrient gel to... Oh no, not the nutrient gel. Um, we need the nutrient vats. That is it. Oh, 120. Oh, no. 12. Put those back in there. I mean, that chest wouldn't fit 120. That's just that. It's It only takes 10 nutrient bats anyway, so... 
Because that just needs bio sludge now. Mon decontamination. Part of me wants to set these thermal radiators to use the less efficient way. <laughs> just to get, just to churn through more um, cosmic water. But it's, it's a bad actually, idea. Yeah, I got it started. Uh, what did you get started? Oh, you're barreling up the cosmic water. I see. Would that be better going into a passive provider, that cosmic water? Um, so if we need it, we can call it from the network. I think I do no, need it in four places. I'm going to just uh, reverse the recipe and dump it back in. Uh... Right, where's my bio sludge? <laughs> Does that only make one contaminated bio sludge? Oh, what? That's going to take forever. <laughs> Didn't realise that would take so long. I might be better off just getting wood shipped up here and making bio sludge out of wood and cosmic water. Okay, I'm going to head back down and I'll send up the ship on the floor. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Because, I mean, whilst it's good to recycle our stuff, we're going to use... It's going to be so long creating this stuff, this bio stuff, without um, just creating the bio sludge ourselves. Because we got quite a build-up, but that's because we were using... Well, we were contaminating a lot of stuff to start with. Well, that is generating at least. So what machine does that need? That needs a biochemical laboratory. Curses. So that is going to require stuff I probably don't have on me. Ooh, the only thing I don't have is the chemical plants, which I can make. So that, I'm going to get another biomechanical, biochemical, biochemical facility. Uh, I actually need to make more pipe. Cool. 
That is nearly... It's nearly able to make one, I suppose. Ninety-nine point five. Yay! It's making bio sludge. Incredibly slowly. But that's fine. We now have a lot of nutrient vats stored up. Ooh, and we are getting close to the end of the stream. So make sure you're somewhere safe within the next couple of minutes. thing we actually need the bioculture for is actually the biomass so I can just feed that straight into the biomass growth facility which I actually need to make so I need a hundred lamps For. No, not 50,000. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Put those back in the system. Uh, yes. Ah, we're out of glass. Okay. Hundred lamps, there we go. Got the pumps, now we just need the pipes. Right. So the next rocket I will also need glass. sending it to? Uh, it's already up here. Oh, oh, as in you brought it up. Hang on, how did you get up here? <laughs> I like turtles! Oh. Hello there, Linster13. How did you get up here? There's... Oh, that's why it was filling a rocket. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't suppose you brought any glass up with you. No. Uh, we don't have any. No, I've, oh no, there's some in there. Never mind. It's being emptied from the rocket. Welcome, welcome, Linster. Um, yeah. So, I don't know, actually, think there's anyone streaming Factorio that I know of. at the minute so we could either go and raid someone random or just not i'm thinking not raid <laughs> to be honest and again no let's let's keep it simple let's not because i don't know anyone Currently streaming. Right, 
where's my growth facility? Oh yes, I needed the glass for it, didn't I? Should be three more on the way to me. Yeah, the robots get very busy when it's rocket time. <laughs> right, let's quickly make that growth facility. In fact, let's quickly cancel all of the things that I'm requesting to me. They go into this that aren't kind of used everywhere. There is a in the night. Pump. Lamp. Structures. Does. Cool. I have a growth facility. I'm ready for the bioculture. Ooh, that is big. Oh, it needs nutrient gel, doesn't it? Uh, what do we need to take plate up here for? It was for the chests. I accidentally let, made it bring a lot. <laughs> so that was that was an accident. <laughs> there, there shouldn't be any more coming up in any of the following rockets, in theory. There is a slight problem with this setup, by the way, which is why I turned it off in the first place. In, the, in that, whilst the last one is being filled, none of the others get filled, so you just end up with a rocket full of the end one at the end. Okay, uh, I shall the, work on a... That was the only reason I turned that off. <laughs> <clears throat> in theory it would work but it's because it's prioritizes the one at the end is the problem like we got a couple of pieces extra in there but yeah <laughs> yeah in fact I've seen Dozra before although are they streaming? I don't think they are. Just that was a little behind. So, I think I am going to go raid at Dozrev. When we end, which is going to be any second. Ooh, that makes biomass. Oh yeah, Dozrev, of course, yeah. I've seen Dozrev before. Mm. Possible to control it by setting a constant combinator with the stuff you want. The problem will surely be that the stuff that gets put on the belt will no longer count towards that constant combinator. And because of the, you know, use that system like that for loading first, you may have to come and show us how to do that. Unless Nick knows already how to do that. <laughs> I can probably puzzle it out because it's a. It's something to do with, I think, uh, like latches and gates and. Right. Basically counting, counting ins and outs. It, it would probably take me a couple of days to work out. Fair enough. <laughs> Oh, you put it straight in, apparently. Yes, and the problem that I was sort of finding was that there's not enough surface area on the... Yeah, that's fair. Uh, ...on the rocket, which is what I was trying to get around. Yes. Um, but it is the end of the stream. I do need to end it now. So I'm going to... Are you in a safe fish place? Safe enough place? You're up here, aren't you? Are you in a good place for me to stop? Um, yep. Yep, cool. I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to save the game. 
And then I'm going to switch to my thank you screen. And then I'm going to set up to go and raid Dozrev, because I have seen Dozrev around before. Uh, and they are streaming Factorio as well. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you are new here, consider a follow. If you want to see more, I'll be streaming. I stream Factorio Monday to Thursday. Um, I at 12 to 5 GMT. I stream uh, RimWorld on Mondays and Wednesdays, 8 till 11 p.m. UK time GMT. And then well, tonight I've got another stream at seven, starting at 7 p.m. going until about 11. I'm probably going to do Minecraft tonight. It's normally seven days to die though. Um, and I also have a stream 7 till 11 on Fridays as well. I think I might cut out the Sunday stream, but keep an eye out on the Discord if you want to know more uh, about when I'm live and any changes and anything like that. Um, and you can even join in on the Factorio servers and most of my community, most of my game play playthroughs are community based, so you can always just hop on. Or well, majoritively just hop on. Um, yes. <laughs> so let's go raid Dozrev. And I shall say thank you very much for joining me. And as always, I've been Wizations. Goodbye.